All right. Greetings, everyone. And uh, welcome to Sommelier's uh, Twitter Spaces. And um, this is taking a jump from us uh, when we were uh, last using uh, good old Periscope. So we're now on Twitter Spaces. And uh, thanks for everybody to, to join. Um, I am now accepting my role as co-host for this space. And uh, uh, joining me today, uh, for our topic is Zaki Manion, co-founder of Sommelier. Hala Zaki, what's up? And um, how's it going? Rocking and rolling, grooving and cruising. Yeah, and I need to share. All right, great. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is something that I, I want to say. First of all, thank you to our amazing community. All right, if you're before we go forward, if you're in Sommelier's Telegram um, over at uh, Get Some G E T S O M M, uh, we've had a lot of community members uh, active this past week, um, actually using pairings. So thank you to all the community members who use pairings. You use it because you love the app and you love making <laughs> taking liquidity positions on Uniswap V3. Um, even though uh, the the Ethereum gas fees are ridiculous, we hear you. We hear your pain, but thank you. Um, because you are uh, essentially allowing us to understand how best to do um, and build and launch upcoming sellers. So thank you, community. And um, uh, we would like to say to the community members, we hear you when you ask questions about when some token and what some token economics. So this event is to respond to the community and to share a little bit about sommelier tokenomics uh, as uh, Zaki had envisioned it and that uh, he's worked hard to bring to the community. So uh, what we're going to do is, um, Zaki, why don't we start off talking a little bit about Sommelier Mainnet and where is Mainnet today? I think uh, soon or today or tomorrow will be two weeks um, since Mainnet has launched one week from announcement. What's your feeling on Sommelier Mainnet? So what was the purpose of Mainnet? What does it mean for Sommelier to have gone Mainnet? So um, the, always the, 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 two, the two reasons why we've been pushing so hard to get to mainnet is mainnet gets us to two places. One is, is it allows um, sort of the initial stakeholders in the network to start actively participating in governance. Um, and the second piece is, is it sets the stage for the SOM token to actually be uh, useful and liquid. Um, so the current state of the sommelier mainnet is, you know, on, is on one hand we have uh, we do have a mainnet running we have a gravity bridge running we have a block explorer running so uh, yay for us um, but almost all the tokens are uh, are locked in uh, unlocking contracts um, that are provided by the Cosmos SDK um, and um, but we obviously don't want to wait uh, a year uh, for the token to go live um, and so that's where governance comes in and governance is the next big step forward for the uh, some. All right. That's awesome. Okay. So, but before we jump in to talk a little bit about governance and some of the tools uh, uh, around governance, let's talk a little bit about the token and specifically, let's talk about basic tokenomics. Um, how many tokens are there? Um, why was that number chosen? What are some of the, you know, currently on the, on the, on the Cosmo side, on the Similia side, what does the token look like? What are the characteristics? Okay, so right now there are 500 million SOM tokens that exist. Um, uh, not 30% uh, of them are in the uh, on-chain treasury, the community pool. 60% uh, of them are held by the Sommelier Foundation. Um, and 10% uh, of them are uh, held by the initial stakeholders who are um, who were sort of participating in, in the formation of this network all the way back in 2020. Um, and so, you know, that initial group of people will help us, will help decide, you know, the fate of this network. Um, and there is no inflation, there are no staking rewards um, uh, in the current chain as of today. Um, and, um, you know, we have ideas and, and, and visions about how, the, how this token will uh, uh, participate in the economy around the Sommelier protocol. Um, and that's what we're here to make happen. Awesome. You know, it's interesting. You know, um, you said at 500 million tokens. So let's just talk a little bit about um, the Gravity Bridge. 
Um, there's 500 million tokens um, for Sommelier, but does that mean that there are 500 some ETH tokens as well? Like how does um, so the way the gravity bridge works right now, uh, is that, uh, uh, is the canonical supply of sommelier tokens is coming from the sommelier chain. Um, so if, uh, if, and when governance, uh, chooses to instantiate a SOM token representation on Ethereum over the gravity bridge, um, those gravity tokens will be just some subset of the 500 million tokens um, existing on the gravity. Got side. it. Understood. So governance really will be responsible for, as well for substantiating or voting to deploy a sommelier Ethereum token or ERC20 token uh, via the via the the network. So so let's just give folks an understanding. So just to be clear, how governance works is it that the community makes a proposal. And then the Cosmos validators execute on that proposal. So they would execute on deploying a Ethereum ERC20 token. That would be the SOM ERC20 token, correct? Yeah. So for different functionality, you know, we have signaling mm -hmm. proposals uh, and signaling proposals are passed by the community and then executed by um, uh, the validator mm -hmm. set. Um, there... Um, there is uh, uh, there are sort of proposals that automatically trigger activity within mm -hmm. the gravity bridge. Um, uh, I mean, really, where the state of the SOM token is right now is actually anyone could deploy, uh, could invoke the function on the gravity bridge contract to deploy the SOM token. Um, uh, but uh, we want to coordinate sort of. But right now, you could deploy the SOM token, but there wouldn't be any tokens there. Um, because until some liquid tokens are made available for some yep. activity, um, they are entirely held by uh, uh, the, the, the... Got it. Awesome. Trade. Okay. So we're going to get to that. Let me just walk and talk a little bit about on-chain governance having 30%. Uh, that looks like a pretty big number um, based on maybe, you know, what we've seen most tokens as assign to the community. Uh, what was your thought when, when you, know, you know, at the crafting of Genesis, they said, you know what? Let's just give 30% of all the tokens to the community. I mean, we all know that, you know, in launching the protocol in 2021, um, community rewarding, rewarding of contributors, rewarding of different stakeholders um, is incredibly important. But it's also relatively clear that, like, the state of the art in terms of airdrops and liquidity mining is constantly evolving. Um, and so rather than, you know, back in January being like, hey, like, we know what this is going to be. We should airdrop these tokens to uh, X, Y, Z people uh, uh, on this day. Uh, uh, we, sh we, you know, instead did this idea of having a large allocation to the community pool with the vision of having the community be a real driver of what sorts of, you know, it's, it's basically this, you know, it, it becomes like an incremental process, right? It's like, you know, we, you know, some tokens get allocated to some function, to some purpose, some functionality. Um, uh, those people then become able to participate in governance, who then became, become further able to uh, 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 direct future flows to community members and the protocol sort of builds and decentralizes itself um, somewhat organically over time. Um, uh, and uh, I think this is a different model than other Cosmos chains have ever tried for sort of decentralization over time. Um, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it works. Uh, I, I, I was chuckling a bit. Was it your intention when you said some tokens got assigned to some activities and some tokens got assigned to... Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday. All right. So next question that I have is, you know, uh, okay, now that folks understand, uh, you know, what's happening, uh, it's, it, it is evident that folks will be able to go to community.simulia.finance to begin to see the first, uh, I guess, interface where they can start expressing or providing opinions or uh, uh, seeking to at least start to see proposals come online. Um, I think the next question I have is, uh, will folks be able to go to um, uh, an explore and see some of the proposals? I think somscan.io is currently live. Is that where folks can also see what proposals are are, are being brought to governance and decision-making? Um, 
Yes, there is community.somalia.finance, finance, and then the on-chain explorer uh, somscan.io will also show uh, governance proposals once they go up on chain. Um, and I'm very much looking forward and anticipating uh, some uh, some governance proposals. Got in it. Got it. Such as you know, I, I mean, they could they they can be any type of proposal, right? I mean, a lot of the folks in the community have been asking about you know you know airdrops and other stuff. I think you know, just to confirm that will be community driven, um, not Similia driven, these types of proposals. Um, I am, I would, I would love to hear. Air ah, okay. Okay. Well, I guess if the community is listening, maybe the community might, might, might mobilize. All right. Let's now talk about why do I own a SOM token? So uh, folks are like, well, what's the point, right? I mean, I'm making a, a, a lot of, of, of yield, over on any of the various farming, you know, and all the other cool stuff that's happening. Why should someone care about owning a SOM token today? What's the seller tokenomics, Saki? So I, you know, I think again, we've done something that's very um, different from other Cosmos chains, which is we have started a chain that today has zero inflation. Um, um, you know, most, uh, uh, most uh, Cosmos chains are, you know, and especially, you know, if you if you look at a lot of uh, sort of the, the uh, uh, you know, you have like sort of this this, uh, 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 you know, um, seven to 20 percent number that we, you know, sort of pulled out of our butts for the Cosmos Hub, um, but has been remarkably sticky um, uh, uh, that has kind of driven the that has has been a part of a big part of the Cosmos Hub thing. Um Ian, you have uh, uh, protocols like Osmosis um, and um, and Juno that are launching with you know very substantial amounts of initial rewards to in reward initial validators and initial stakers uh, and initial uh, and sort of onboard community uh, that way. Um, we're trying to do something sort of unique and different, which is we're starting out a chain with um, zero new uh, inflationary rewards and new zero inflationary rewards. Because we really want to focus on trying to make sure, trying to see how quickly um, can we get to the point where there is enough fee revenue being generated by sellers, and there are enough uh, uh, there's enough returns being passed back through sellers to the SOM token holders um, that you know we can uh, 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 we can only turn on uh, uh, inflationary rewards where it's really uh, where it's really doing something critical. Um, for the success of the community. And this is a, a big part of the model that we're trying to innovate here. Awesome. With All right. So let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, how a particular, how a seller might work. Um, you know, could you, would you? I, I will also be clear that I'm not, we're not trying to make a, a we're not trying to create a, 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 a deflationary cult here. Um, De deflation so bad. I'm not interested in deflationary <laughs> cult. Uh, uh, you know, the, the 500 million number is, uh, is, is it made the e math easy, uh, when we were figuring out all of this and, um, uh, uh, um, it, 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 it made the math easy in terms of doing things. And, um, I am expecting new tokens to have to be created. I'm not anticipating that we, this is all the Psalm that will ever exist for all of time. Um, that would make not a lot of sense to me. Um, uh, there's clearly going to be need people uh, who are going to need to be uh, incentive aligned uh, into this project. Um, and so uh, that's a big part of it. But like, you know, as I've said, you know, it's, it's been, re it's been remarkable to me how sticky um, the seven to 20% range on the Cosmos hub is um, how, uh, and like, you know, even when I think about changing it, it seems very scary um, uh, because, you know, for what better or worse, what it is that we've got is working and it's still, you know, you know, there are more uh, inflationary protocols that have higher market caps than we do. So, you know, uh, it's always tricky to like it, it, it feel it, it does feel like, you know, a little bit like, you know, you know, trying to disarm a nuclear bomb if when you try to change these uh, uh, monetary systems numbers um, and like you know, lots of props to Ethereum for EIP-1559 and actually being able to change the issuance. Um, and that's really cool. Um, but, you know, starting out with a zero issuance on, cost, on on SOM allows us, sort of forces a lot of thinking about um, sort of getting to uh, 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 real revenue. 
um, on the protocol as soon as possible. Um, and I think uh, that's a that's an important experiment in the country. Got it. But but to be clear, I mean, uh, you know, as the community distribution to the community um, through on chain governance uh, continues, um, you know, the community may that that desire for for um, you know forcing the the fee generation um, focus again may I mean it's possible it may come into conflict with with community desire for inflation or for inflationary rewards. It, I mean that is a that is a possibility, yeah. Absolutely, or you know, you know, creation of new tokens to refresh the community. Correct. Pool. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing magical about the thirty percent number. Yep. 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 Got it. All right. Well, okay. Back to what is what? So, can we talk a little bit about what fee revenue might look like? So, I'm holding some tokens. Uh, I've delegated to a validator. Um, you know, what happens to you know what happens when you know a sommelier seller runs? Could you walk us through that and and how that would? Yeah work so the core activity of the sommelier validator set is 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 executing the rebalance function um and the re the rebalance and reinvest functions on sommelier sellers on a on a, on a on on an as needed basis um you know depending on the seller uh, that might be you know every six hours every hour every two days every two weeks you know Every 30 days, uh, it, it, it may be on a different schedule. But um, sellers um, are going to incorporate um, a management fee mechanism, uh, a, a, a mechanism by which the profits um, from the sellers, and we hope the sellers are very profitable, um, are coming back to the, um, are coming back, the, the profits are being, are, are being piped back to the, um, to the, to the validate, to the, um, are being are, are being piped back to the chain, um, and so what we are going, what we are building is the ability for the system to periodically take, you know, ETH, USDC, other tokens that are generated as revenues, um, bring them into the bridge, bring them over the bridge, um, use the uh, very powerful Cosmos uh, Cosmos distribution module to then distribute those tokens uh, proportionally across all of the delegators to all of the different uh, validators. Um, and so if you are staking some tokens, uh, you will get a pro rata chunk uh, among all the other stakers um, of those fees. All right, so, so let's, let's bring this down to a more concrete example. So for instance, uh, Sommelier Pairings, um, which is our current app, uh, uh, managed $10 million in liquidity in the last six months, right? That was, that was a milestone for us. Out of that $10 million in liquidity managed- um, Are you making me do math? Is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make you do math, Saki. You got a little bit, uh, but, uh, but, but it's going to be easy math, just, just multiplication and, and some square roots. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on Uniswap V3, uh, users of pairings were able to generate $2 million in fees in the last six months on actively manage their own accounts. So let's now say if this was in a seller world, and the seller for a Uniswap V3 pair was able to collect two million in fees. How would that distribution work now in 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 the protocol? Like, can you walk us through like what happens to the two million if it was say collected in ETH? So let's say the two million was collected in ETH, and let's say that we took a twenty percent fee rate off of that. Um, so that would be um, four hundred thousand dollars of. Of, of, of revenues, right? Yep. Um, and those $400,000 of revenues um, would then come back as being deposited into every SOM holder's uh, account as, you know, SOM ETH, you know, over the bridge ETH. Um, uh, and then, and those users could transfer and, and interact with SOM ETH on the SOM chain. They could bring it back over the bridge. They could sell it on Uniswap. They could exit it to a centralized exchange. Um, you know, and uh, that this is the economic machine that we are trying to build. That's awesome, and uh, and that's just one example. I mean, I, I mean, Somalia can handle you know many more strategies that would be generating revenue um, across many different pools or many other AMMs on Ethereum or any EVM compliant chain. So, as a delegator, uh, as a SOM token holder. Are you saying that I can participate in all the fee revenue from all the strategies 
that are running across all the chains. Indeed. That's the vision of the Zom token. Okay. Is that the secret alpha you, you were promising us today? I, 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 I'm not quite sure. Is that... Is that is that the secret? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> it might be. But however, we need governance to propose different strategies. Correct. So, so the way that the sellers get deployed. We need governance to propose different sellers. Um, we need. So you know, like there we are. We are. We are. We are. This is the again this incremental ramp up of uh, 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 of of the SOM token, right? So first we have a mainnet and we have a gravity bridge. Then we have. Um, uh, uh, reward distribution and, or, you know, then we have some mechanism of expanding the, you know, some proposal for expanding the token holder uh, community. Then we have sellers launching um, and sellers will be continuously proposed by the community, um, you know, and, you know, we will, we will continue to invest in different R and D efforts um, to, to, to get things ready um, and seller proposals will come. Uh, another thing we will figure out with the community is how we reward people who propose sellers, um, because it's like sellers are great for SOM holders, right? You know, a really, a really valuable seller. It's great for a seller user. It's great for how do you incentivize the people who, who create them? Another sort of open question um, that needs to be resolved um, and, you know, is another use of the community pool. Um, and so we get all of these pieces together. And then finally, we have sort of this you know, uh, uh, you know, and if, if we get all these pieces together, the treadmill is running. Again. That's awesome. Um, the assembly line, the, yeah. you know, the assembly yeah. line of, of sellers. Yes. And we, we just sort of have a seller factory that is is building new sellers and shipping revenues back to the SOM holders. Got it. And permissionless. So anybody can create a seller. Anybody can propose. And uh, of course, uh, all sellers, you know, SOM holders benefit from or delegated staking some holders can benefit. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so next steps are, are happening. Um, I think maybe one of the questions we we're having from the community as well as, you know, will we see, will some tokenomics extend to other chains? Um, right now, uh, you know, the focus is on Ethereum. Are you looking or is, you know, is, is the network looking at other chains and will that also go through governance uh, for opportunities there as well, maybe on L2, such as Optimism, Arbitrum, ZK Rollups, et cetera. Yeah, um, the Gravity technology actually makes it quite easy um, for us to imagine extending our, our, our SOM token approach to uh, many alternative chains. Um, and um, that's kind of, that's a big, you know, that's something that we, envision you know there are going to be many many chains in which we can execute uh sellers on um you know evm chains by gravity um there's this idea this thing called interchain accounts um that is coming to cosmos and ibc at some day at some point um which is another thing that we can target with uh with sommelier um you know they're they're um and you know we could write a gravity bridge for solana or wherever um, you know, we're still just focused on sort of the biggest, the biggest DeFi markets. Right That's now. awesome. All right. Thank you, Zucky. Okay. So we're, we have about a la five more minutes left, uh, looking to folks who are on the spaces just to see if we have any questions or comments, um, from folks listening in. Uh, if you want to, you can raise your hand and say, holla at me, Tarek. Um, I'd love to have a question. Uh, and, um, we might, you know, give some time to see if, uh, folks have any interest in sharing their thoughts. Oh, ideas. Again, um, super thanks to the community members that have been asking for us to talk about this um, on tokenomics. We will be posting a blog post from this transcript as well as uh, further on uh, flushing out some of the uh, details about the distribution uh, and some tokenomics, et cetera. All right. So while we're waiting on those, um, Zucky, I was just curious, um, you know, when we think about uh, tokenomics and other chains, uh, are there any other chains that, you know, you know, given you said this is unique to Cosmos, I'm um, looking outside the Cosmos. Are there any other chain models in tokenomics that that you like that you think are interesting? Um, I know Osmosis is doing really well, maybe even on the Cosmos side. Any other chains that that come to mind or or things that inspire how you think sommeliers might want to think about some tokenomics? I don't know. I mean, I, I think what we've. I mean, someone, I'm sure I'm wrong because like, I don't know, there's like 
roughly t- a billion tokens yeah. that exist right now in tokenomics. So, um, but I do, to the best of my knowledge, I'm not aware of anyone who's really trying to do what we're trying to do with Psalm. Um, you know, uh, you know, I think, I think there is a, I, I think in the proof of stake space, um, there's still just an enormous set of opportunities to experiment um, uh, with how the tokenomics are, 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 um, are implemented. But like, you know, it's, you know, it's, it, you know, the, the R and D effort to build the sort of cosmos SD, the sort of default inflationary cosmos SDK tokenomics was enormous. You know, it was just like an enormous gathering of brain power um, that was built. And I, you know, I think that inspired a lot of other tokenomic designs across the space. Um, and I know I, you know, like for a lot of different chains, I've spent a lot of time like, uh, you know, in detail explaining all of the R&D that we did to make Cosmos work um, as people have been building other proof of stake systems, um, other staking, other liquidity systems. Now, Sunny is doing, Sunny has this, you know, Sunny and the Osmosis Labs team have this incredible idea called, um, I keep, it's like, I think it's, what is it, super critical or the name is actually escaping my mind. Um but basically the idea of staking LP tokens from an AMM um, instead of staking tokens. Um, and I think that's really exciting. Um, I think there's, again, enormous amount of innovation that's still, that is still needed desperately in the proof of stakes at base um, in terms of tokenomics. And, you know, I hope that like experiments like Osmosis and SOM um, as, they, as they play out, um, are going to inspire the opportunity for things that have governance like Adam to then look at those experiments and see how do we evolve over yeah, time. Yeah, agree. All right. Well, it looks like we have a question from Flint coming in. So Flint has requested. Flint, I'm going to give you approval to jump on in here. Let me see if that works uh, to speak. And I think you have been approved. Uh, so let us know. Uh, oops. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. I think he muted, muted him. him. Good Lord, Flint. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, can you talk? Hey, Flint. Yeah. How's it going? There you go. Good. How are you? Awesome. Yeah. So it's uh, the term for the osmosis uh, experiment is called super fluid staking. Um, <laughs> I love it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. That's all I wanted to say. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No, I love it. Okay. I was like. Yeah, go ahead. Chem- like osmosis makes me think staking like yeah 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 um uh yeah just, uh, all right yes yeah, we're gonna get up in there and and of course Samilia is ibc ready at mainnet so Samilia is an ibc active chain confirmed is that okay yeah the minute someone again has some liquid tokens they'll, be- <laughs> they'll do some <laughs> they'll be <able> to- <laughs> Well, I mean, theoretically, right now you could send uh you could send atoms to the psalm chain you couldn't do anything with them um you could technically move them over the bridge. Um, I, I really would not encourage anyone to do that. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Well, with, you technically, it, could. it's going to happen, and, and now that it's capable, uh, <laughs> we're just going to turn to the community to help guide us. So please don't forget to join us at uh, Telegram on Get Some G E T S O M M, and also on Community uh, where we have our proposals up and announcements. Thanks to everyone for joining, and we will see you hopefully again uh, next week as we continue to uh, bring song to the community. Rock and roll. Bye. Thanks, guys.